friends, Quill here, welcome back to some Battle Stadium Devils here on the channel. If you're enjoying the series just as much as I am, make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of the action coming forward. Now if you missed the last few episodes actually, this team has been featured in several episodes, uh, this being the second to last, make sure you go back and watch the rest of the series. A uh, really good team we've got going on here uh, that centers around Alchemy and its decorate move which raises its, uh, its targets. Uh, attack and special attack by two stages of peace. Jeez, I don't know why I had trouble getting that out so much. Usually, uh, Slowbro with his quick draw, quick claw combo uh, goes goes first. Not usually, but oftentimes will go first uh, with a decorate boost. Can do a whole lot of damage, uh, as well as Lapras, uh, which Gigantamaxes and sets up an Aurora Veil and Incineroar, which kind of is there for for some interference. Conkelder and Porygon Zine in the back to deal with some niche threats that we've got going on, but. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time going over the team because I've already got, gone over it three more times. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and get into the first battle. All right, we have moved up to, moved up to rank seven, which puts us in the Great Ball tier. Here we've got a team, uh, or a battle rather, against Roger, who's got a very, very standard looking team. Um, I'm expecting a, a rain lead to go off. Uh, we've also got, uh, okay, so, so, what's his name? Oh my goodness, Comfe has... Uh, priority on its healing moves, which Draining Kiss is included in. So Dragapult uh, and the, oh geez, the Comfey scare me because uh, Dragapult with, with weakness policy is able to get a huge boost to its attack and special attack. Uh, right off the bat, um, Lapras and Incineroar are, are very obvious leads here. I think I need to go with them because uh, <laughs> it's a pretty scary combo, one that we can't break past, I don't think, without... The Aurora Veil, vale. uh, I don't think we'll see the rain starting up at, as I said before, actually. Uh, but if we do, we've got the Max Lightning to go in there with Out Creamy and Slowbro. Come in to the back, uh, Conkelder and Porygon Z don't do much here. So we're going to leave them on the bench and we'll see what they decide to bring to lead out. Um, I don't know if we can win this one, guys. Because <laughs> the, the, the Comfe and Draga Dragapult, I don't know why I keep messing that up, Drag Dragapult and Comfe combo is really, really terrifying. Um, if they go after... Okay, Comfe and Blastoise actually. Did not expect that lead. Um, that makes me wonder what they're going to go for. I'm, I'm expecting uh, the G-Max Cannonade to come off from the Blastoise. Uh, but other than that, I don't know quite what they're going to be doing. Um, I am just going to go ahead and get my, my G-Max Resonance off on the Comfe. And then I'm going to, uh, actually, I'm going to Parting Shot. I know uh, Fake Out is usually what Incineroar likes to do, but I'm going to Parting Shot the Blast Toys to switch on out of here because that candidate is coming directly for Incineroar for sure. And I want to lower its attack as much as I can. Okay, so we see our Gigantamax go off first, which means we are faster than the Blast Toys. Um, the question is, will Incineroar be? And I don't, because I don't think this Incineroar, no, this Incineroar has a little bit of speed investment. I don't think it's got... I know it's not fully invested in speed because it needed some bulk added to it, um, but maybe the the Blastoise didn't Gigantamax. That would be good news in this case, I think. Um, it it might have actually. Mm, okay, so we see the Protect go off. That's fine. I I don't really want Blastoise to to get off a. Uh, what's it called? A. Oh man, I can't think of the word. <laughs> I don't want it to get off a shell smash either. That would also be scary. Not not quite as scary, I think, as it Gigantamaxing, but uh, then that would make the Gigantamax a lot scarier. So uh, we do get up our Aurora Veil here, which is super duper nice. Uh, we see the Comfe go for a Trick Room, uh, which is, again, I've, I've said it before, this, this team doesn't really care too, too much about speed control, but it's still not nice to see that uh, Trick Room go up uh, we can... I'm gonna try to Parting Shot the Blast Toys once more. Uh, I... I bet that the Blast Toys goes first now because of the... Um... Oh, what's it called? The... Oh, come on. Because of the Trick Room, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, but through the Aurora Veil, we might actually be able to live this Cannonade going off. Um, I'm not gonna count on it, but if it happens, that's cool. Uh, we see Blast Toys. Gigantamaxing. Honestly, Gigantamax Blastoise looks really cool. Uh, Comfy uses Giga Drain on Blastoise to get its... Ooh, ooh, that's scary. Alright, so I'm assuming that's going to be... Oh wow, that's a really cool strategy. Comfy then gets uh, to proc the weakness policy onto the Blastoise. 
that's really honestly terrifying. Um, that Max Lightning's not going to do nearly enough damage. Does it does get a crit though? Um, we are going to be able to take it out next turn if we so choose. Um, yeah, but the G-Max Cannon is just going to take uh, Incineroar out. There's no way that's living that. Yeah, we tried. <laughs> I told you guys I, I wasn't sure about this battle and wh whether or not we'd, we'd be able to win it. Um, I, I'm fairly certain that we won't at this point. Uh, but if we bring in... Who do I want to bring in? Um, I can bring in Slowbro. Or, or just... Hmm, I think I'm going to bring in Alcremie, actually. I do expect the Floral Healing on to Blastoise to get it to heal up. Uh, they're going to take out Alchemy. If I max Lightning the Blastoise and Helping Hand the Lapras, I should be able to take it out regardless of the Floral Healing. Um, that's when Comfey heals its partner, by the way. Uh, I, I'm almost certain that's what we're going to see right here, but we'll find out. Okay, so we see the Helping Hand go off onto the Lapras. The question is, do we... Okay, so Floral Healing up. I was right. That's good. I'm, I'm glad we made the right decision. Uh, that's only going to heal up a quarter of its health. With the Helping Hand... Okay, Max Steel Spec, actually. Okay, so Alchemy is going to live this because of the Babiri Berry and the uh, Aurora Veil. Even though he's, he's boosted... Yeah, we're going to take that just fine. Um, maybe we should have gone for the Decorate here. I'm not quite sure what the right play necessarily was, but I, I don't dislike the Helping Hand play because it gets automatic... Uh, damage off onto the blast toys, which should just go down here. Perfect. Okay, that's huge. Getting the blast toys to go down is absolutely monumental. <laughs> I, I don't know how much longer they have the trick room. Um, I do know that 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 G Max Cannonade is doing some more damage, which I don't really like. Um, and in general, we're not in a great spot. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this one doesn't look too good, but uh, you know, it do it doesn't look the worst either. We're not in our right spot. Uh, out comes the Politoed, which is going to set up rain for me. I, I kind of don't mind that. <laughs> uh, but I don't think that Lapras has been hit by a move yet, which honestly puts it in a good position to get to get decorated by Alchemy. So I'm going to go ahead and Thunderbolt uh, the Politoed, and then I'm going to decorate with my Lapras, and we'll see if, if we're able to get that off successfully. Okay, so the Politoed goes for Protect. That's so bad. Oh man, I did not want to see that Protect go off there. Uh, Comfy does go for Giga Drain. Onto Alchemy, which is really strange because Alchemy is definitely not what I would have targeted down there, necessarily. Uh, Lapras goes for the Thunderbolt, obviously it's protected, uh, but the important thing is that Alchemy gets off a Decorate, which is, which is huge, honestly. Um, it's going to be able to let Lapras do some massive damage next turn. Uh, the Cannonade goes off yet again, Alchemy is not feeling great. <laughs> Um, I'm actually going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to freeze dry the Comfey, and I'm going to go ahead and Helping Hand Lapras. Uh, I'm going to try to knock out the Comfey first. The Politoed really can't do too much to me, and I really didn't think about that until now, unless it's got like Focus Blast or something, but even then I'm not afraid of it because I've got the Aurora Veil up, so we'll, it just, we'll just have to see what happens. Okay, so with, we actually see the Comfey withdraw. And out comes Dragapult. That's good news. That is really good news because it means I'll get the Helping Hand off onto uh, the Lapras. And I don't think I even would have needed it with the plus two from the Decorate the previous turn. Uh, but we'll be able to knock out this Dragapult with the Freeze Dry. Dragapult is terrifying and I did not want to see it. So that's, I'm really glad uh, that we got rid of that right off the bat. Hold on, I got a spam phone call. <laughs> Alright, Skull goes off onto Alchemy. Not, not, not a good thing. Going to knock it out, honestly. Uh, kind of what I expected, but Alchemy honestly did its job right there. Um, I'm really happy with how... I'm, I'm just happy that we got to see Alchemy do what it's supposed to do, but out comes the Comfey once again. Uh, that's not going to live a Shellside arm any day this week. Um, so we're going to see... Uh, well, actually it might because Comfey's got decent special defense, but we're going to... Well, no, actually we're going to freeze dry on the Politoed, and we're going to go ahead and Shellside arm the Comfey, if they go for an ally switch here, that's not the end of the world. We're still going to do a whole bunch of damage. A Comfey gets a Giga Drain off onto Lapras. That's not going to do very much. Nope, because Comfey has got decent special attack, honestly. It's actually pretty good. Um, but Lapras' special defense is huge, plus the Aurora Veil. Parish Song goes off. Um, I doubt they're going to be able to see the end of that. Um, but, you know what, for what it's worth, I do like... Um, I do like... Parish Song, but yeah, Polytoad's just going to go right on down here. That's thanks to uh, 
the decorate boost from earlier and the shell side arm goes off on the comfe and not quite enough to knock it out. Um, I'm expecting to see a protect next turn, uh, but honestly they're not going to be able to protect long enough to to uh, <laughs> wait out my the, the parish song. I think we're, we're going to be able to, to knock them out ahead of time, but why? who knows? You know what? You, know, you never know, and I've seen bigger comes backs, comebacks before, but okay, slow burst, quick draw, lets it go first. The battle was cancelled, however, so um, <clears throat> did not expect to win that battle, After, but after we took down the uh, Gigantamax um, Blastoise, it was pretty much downhill from there, so I'm happy with that battle went, how that battle went, and I'll see you guys in battle number two. Alright, we are still chilling at rank number seven with a battle here against Rob, who's got a, a little bit less standard of a team, but definitely one that scares me. Um, <clears throat> Trick Room definitely could be an option for them, although I don't know which Pokemon they have is able to set it up. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm debating leading with Slowbro here, uh, but I don't. Th I think the Lapras and Cinderor lead is, is just our best bet most of the time. Most of the time, if you're battling with this team ever, uh, the best lead is going to be Lapras and Cinderor. Uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. I think. Uh, I don't expect to see the Politoed uh, and the Marowak. I expect to see one or the other, of course. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what they bring. All right, Rob, I like your trainer card. I need to get the second the second uh, seal on my trainer card. I've, I've got the full Pokedex, so I should be able to get it. But All right, Rob, what do you send out? Magnezone and uh, Togekiss. Okay. Honestly, not a big deal. Um, I'm expecting the Togekiss maybe to Gigantamax, or Dynamax, rather. Um, Magnezone isn't... Magnuson does scare Lapras a little bit, but not enough to be too, too concerned about. I'm more worried about the Togekiss. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Dynamax, go for the G-Max Resonance. They're on the Togekiss, and I'm going to hope that it doesn't uh, Dynamax, but we are going to fake out the Magnuson to stop it from doing whatever it wants to do, and we'll just hope for the best. So we see our Gigantamax go off. They did not Dynamax their Togekiss, which means we should be able to do a fair amount of damage here. Uh, definitely get up that that uh, Aurora Veil, which is going to be really good for us. Uh, Lapras. Gigantamaxes. I, I do like Gigantamax Lapras. I think it looks really cool. Um, and I really like the sparkles that are that are swirling around it. I think that's neat. Um, Magnezone is flinched. Okay, so Togekiss goes for Follow Me. Uh, we were going to hit you anyway. <laughs> Magnezone does flinch, we go for the G-Max Resonance, which is going to be able, which is going to allow Lapras to live through next turn, uh, no matter what the Magnezone wants to go for. Uh, being that we took out the Togekiss in one hit and it really didn't do anything, uh, we might see, <laughs> we might see a forfeit here actually, just depending on how, how essential that Togekiss was to this, the, this person's strategy. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I would do in their situation. Alright, out comes Dragapult. Okay, so... Two very scary Pokemon out on the field right now. I am going to go for a Snarl, I think. Uh, Max Geyser onto... Mm. Do I, no, I'm, I think I'm going to go for another G-Max Resonance onto the Dragapult. The Magnezone does scare me, but not too, too much. We're going to Snarl everybody. Uh, try to get that Magnezone's special attack down a little bit. Okay, so we, they do Dynamax the... the. Oh, what's it called? Goodness, I'm so bad at Pokemon names, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dragapult, that's what it is. I'm really good at them when I'm not filming. It's just like I turn the camera on and all of a sudden I can't remember any Pokemon's names ever. Um, but we are going to be able to do a decent amount of damage with the Max Resonance. Max Lightning does go off onto Lapras. That's not going to be able to knock us out by not not even close. Um, the Magnezone is what scares me though. <clears throat> it's going to be. It's got a massive special attack stat. Um, I wonder if we go first. Okay, Magnezone goes for Thunder. Okay, wow, that did a lot of damage. Uh, and Paralyzed Lapras. Hopefully that won't come into play too much. Oh, we do see Snarl go off. Everyone's special attack is going to drop, which is really good news for us. Um, that actually did a lot more damage to Dragapult than I would have expected. Um, and G-Max Resonance goes off on to the Dragapult. I, it's not going to be able to knock it out. Not even close, but... Ooh, actually it did come kind of close. What's that all about? Ugh. Did not expect that one. I'm actually going to go for the Max Guard on Lapras and hope that we don't get fully paralyzed. And I'm going to Flare Blitz 
Ooh, do I flare blitz the magazine or do I just go for another snarl? I think I go for the, another snarl and see what I can do there. Um, if I can get their special attack stats down even further, that'll be really good news for me. Okay, so Lapras does get the max guard off. No paralysis is affecting us today. Uh, max Wormwind goes off onto uh, Incineroar. That's probably not going to knock us out. No, it actually doesn't even do half, which I'm a little bit surprised to see. Um, another Snarl will... Uh, I don't know actually if another Snarl is going to... Okay, so Max Guard was good for the Thunder. How much damage is going to do Dragapult? Oh, it does take the... Okay, that's such good news. The fact that it took down Dragapult might just be the, what, the difference between winning the game and not. Um, Lapras and, and Incineroar are just a really good pairing. And... I've never been more convinced of that than now. <laughs> Alright, what are they going to send out? Marowak. I do believe this is the end of our... Uh, Di Gigantamax, though. Yeah, okay. It's not, like, the best thing in the world, but we are in a good position. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to Hydro Pump. Here's the thing. If they go for Thunder again, the Marowak's just going to draw that in. Um, so in, in a way, that's that works against them. I'm going to try to Flare Blitz the Magnezone. Maybe that's not the best option. Marowak, I might... Uh, maybe I should have switched out. But Magnezone goes for Thunder, and Marowak's Lightning Rod draws it in. So my, my opponent made a mistake there. Uh, because they were not able to attack Lapras this turn. Uh, Incineroar goes for Flare Blitz. That should knock out the uh, uh, Magnezone. Yep, okay, good. I actually, I thought maybe it wouldn't there for a second, just because Magnezone's got pretty decent defense, but uh, really good battle here. Boomerang, let's see. That'll take out Incineroar for sure. It actually did less damage than I thought it would. Oh, wait, maybe it won't, actually, with the Eye of Papa Berry. Oh, man, we lived that. <laughs> And Sonora is just so good, guys. Like, I, I can't I can't tell you how good it is. Uh, Lapras goes for Hydro Pump. That's definitely going to take out the Marowak. And that was that was a 4-0, honestly. I'm, I'm pretty happy with myself. <laughs> Here I go, went into that battle thinking maybe I wouldn't do so well. But we ended up we ended up not even losing Lapras or Incineroar. So that's super good. Um, that was a really quick battle, actually. I'll see you guys for battle number three. All right, so we actually went up to rank eight, which means things are just going to start getting real again. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got a battle here against Katze. Uh, really very conventional team, very scary team. Um, I see the Raichu there. Raichu makes me wonder what he's going to be going for there. Um, you don't often see Venusaur without Sun. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused by this man's team, but <laughs> it doesn't mean we can't deal with it. Uh, I'm looking at Slowbra Alcremi as, as my leads this time around, though. Uh, that might be a better option. Although there is that Cinderace, which scares me. I think I am going to go Alcremi and Slowbro as my leads. That might be a mistake, uh, but it's what I'm doing right now. Actually, do I want the Lapras even? I mean, if it's not going to Gigantamax. Um, I'm actually going to withdraw Lapras. That might be a huge mistake, <laughs> actually. Um, but I, I, I'm afraid of that Tyranitar, I'm not going to lie to you. I might bring Conk Elder, actually. Or Porygon Z, both of them do decently well here. Um, I, I think I've decided, I've talked myself into Conk Elder. So we're going to bring Conk Elder and uh, Incineroar in the back, and we're done. I <laughs> only had 10 seconds left, so that's a little bit scary. Okay, so I might have made a mistake. We're going to find out uh, what, what happens here, though. Oh, I like his trainer card, that's really cool. All right, last battle of the day though, so we have to bring it home. We got to bring it home. At least we've, we've got to at least do a good job. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Venusaur and Cinderace. Uh, not exactly what I wanted to see. I'm expecting the the Venusaur to uh, go for a a uh, what's the word? Jeez, <laughs> S uh, sleep powder, which would be awful. Wait, no, I think Alcremie guard like guards us from that. Um, I'm gonna decorate my Slowbro. And I'm actually going to Dynamax, I believe. And I'm going to try to... Okay, so I'm assuming that they're going to... I'm, I'm, no, I'm just going to Max Use. I'm not even going to think twice about it. I'm going to Max Use the Cinderace. I think the Cinderace is going to Gigantamax. And we get the Quick Draw. So if they don't Gigantamax, we're actually going to be able to do a fair bit of damage here. We're going to do a fair bit of damage either way. But especially if they don't uh, Gigantamax. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to take it out. But we, we did get the Quick Draw, which means we move first. Uh, which could be <laughs> game-changing, honestly. If we can get the Cinderace out of the way really quickly, that's awesome. 
Uh, let's see. They did not Gigantamax their, their Cinderace, so that's very interesting. I don't know if I agree with that. Cinderace does not go down there, but does take a, a fair bit of damage, honestly. Um, I'm very interested to know what they go for. I'm assuming... Okay, Cinderace actually goes for the U-turn. Interesting. You don't really see U-turn oftentimes in double battles, uh, just because it has more more uh, function, I guess, in singles. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Venusaur's probably going to go for, for something sketchy here. <laughs> okay, out comes the Dragapult. Um, probably going to go for the, the max ghost move. Uh, Venusaur, Venusaur goes for Sludge Bomb. Alchemy should be able to hold on with that. Yep, and then gets a, a Decorate off. Uh, which is puts us in a decent position. I really still don't like where we are, um, but I'm going to try to do as much damage to that Dragapult as I can this turn. Um, if I can get the max, or I'm going to try to get the max Hailstorm off on the Dragapult, and if I can get the Helping Hand to to uh, aid me in that, I should be able to take out the Dragapult. No. Okay, what do we see here? We do see the Dragapult. I'm assuming it's going to Dynamax, um, which is bad news for us, honestly, because. Um, Oh no, it's, oh no, it's, it's Venusaur. <laughs> yeah, I definitely read that wrong. I thought that they were going to Gigantamax, or Dynamax, rather, their, their Dragobolt, but they Gigantamax their Venusaur instead. We do get the Helping Hand off here. Um, we're going to see, I'm, I'm assuming, okay, Dragon Darks goes off onto Slowbro. Okay, so it does, hit, I, I thought it would hit out Creamy, but it wouldn't affect out Creamy, so I'm assuming that's why it didn't hit there. Max Quick goes off, ooh, is that going to take us out? I hope not. Slowbro, do not go down. Okay, wow, that did not nearly as much damage as I thought it would. Um, but the Dragon Bolt will be going down here, which is good news. Um, even with that special defense rise, with the helping hand, it just doesn't it doesn't stand a chance, honestly. Uh, Dragon Bolt's just going to get clean taken out. Uh, that does bring up a uh, Hailstorm, which I don't know quite how I feel about setting that up. <laughs> that might have been a mistake, but... I, I'm... We're playing for the end game here, I, I think. I hope. Okay, Cinderace comes back out. Uh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> we don't like to see that. Um, I'm not gonna lie, even though we're ahead on the number of Pokemon we've got, we are in a very bad position. Um, I'm going to protect my Alchemy, try to get it to stick around for another turn, and I'm going to max Mindstorm the Venusaur. We do have boosts on, on Slowbro, so we might be able to knock it out. Okay, so the Quick Claw goes fast, makes us go faster. Alchemy protects. As long as the Venusaur didn't target my Alchemy, I should be fine. Uh, Max Mindstorm goes off. Is that going to be able to take out the Venusaur? It is. Okay, that's that's really great. Not going to lie. <laughs> okay, Alchemy is doing good. Doing really well in this battle, rather. Um, it's doing what it needed to do. It's gotten the boosts off on the Pokemon that it needs to boost. I'm really happy with how it, how it did in this battle. <clears throat> I'm just curious to see... Okay, Pyro Bell goes off, does not knock out the Slowbro, in fact, um, but the Hail might, actually. <laughs> um, this is going to go to our last two Pokemon, certainly. Tyranitar is the last Pokemon they had, that's good news because I brought the, uh, what's it called? Oh my goodness, the Conkeldur, specifically for that thing. Um, this turn, I, there's not much that I can do other than... Uh, helping hand my Slowbro and hope that I go first, uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm helping, ha helping hand Slowbro. I'm going to shell side arm the Cinderace and try to knock it out here. I'm not too afraid of the Tyranitar just because um, I'm going to be able to take that thing out with, with one hit from, from Conkeldur because it's just too strong. We do get the quick draw, so that's huge, okay? That, that allows um, Cinderace to get knocked out, which means that we will not have any trouble, even though both of our Pokemon are probably going to go down here uh, to a Rock Slide is what I'm assuming. Uh, we will be able to survive the turn. Man, Quick Draw just, just won us this battle. <laughs> Alchemy and Slowbro both are going to go down here. Like I said, though, we got the Conk in the background. Back in the back of the team. So uh, we should be good to go, especially because we get Incineroar to intimidate the Tyranitar. Even if it does live, there's no way it's going to be able to take uh, out Conk Elder with anything. Yeah, it's, I, I think that Conk did better here than the Lapras would have. Um, I think in the end, either of them would have won. Uh, but Conk Elder is just safer against Tyranitar than, than is my... Uh, <laughs> what's the word? Oh, jeez. Safer against Tyranitar than is 
my Lapras. So we're going to get the fake out. Oh, I, f I forgot about my own Psychic Terrain. My goodness. Okay, so that's not going to do hardly anything to Conk. Not too upset about that. <clears throat> Dream Punch goes off. That should just knock out the turn. There's no way it's living that. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. Three for three today. Why is this team doing so much better this, this time around than it did last season? I'm not quite sure. We're at the same rank. In fact, I think we might even be higher. But <laughs> I'm not going to complain about it, honestly. Katsai, that was a really good battle. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this team did today. We are 6-0. and oh. Uh, this season, at least. Last season, we aren't going to talk about. <laughs> uh, but that will do it today for today's video, my friends. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button down below if you haven't already. But uh, as always, see you next time.